Hi everyone, so in today's video I'm going to talk about the first steps or the first things that you should ideally do when you get your first guitar. So step one is take it to a luthier. So say you've uh, purchased your first guitar, uh, maybe it's a Squire Stratocaster or an Ibanez Geo. And yeah, the ideal thing for you to do when you've just purchased it is to take it to a guitar luthier. And if you have no prior knowledge or experience in regards to luthier work and how to change strings and how to adjust the, um, the string levels and well, the, the action of the guitar, it's perfect if you take it to somebody that is experienced and knows what they're doing. So um, what this will essentially do for you and your guitar playing is that your guitar will become instantly more comfortable to play and that will result in a better overall experience of your learning. So the second step, and I'm sure this one seems super obvious to the majority of you, but uh, I didn't know, um, tune your guitar. That's, I mean, it's self-explanatory really. Uh, you won't be able to make your playing sound good if your guitar is out of tune, so just get a uh, tuning app or a tuner that you can put on the headstock of your guitar or a tuning pedal, whatever really works for you and, and that way you can make sure that you're always in tune and what you're playing actually sounds good. So what I personally recommend when you're just starting to play is to learn some chords. Uh, some simple chords which will get you more familiar with the fretboard of your guitar and just make you comfortable with how you're holding it and just, you know, getting to know the guitar. Right, once you've mastered some chords, the next step is Marty music. Hey, now, what's up you guys? And this guy has uh, saved a lot of us guitars, taught us a lot, I'm sure. So the best part about guitar when I was just starting to play was learning songs that I like. And this is where Marty music comes into play, so you can, um, you know, search up a song that you really like, let's say I can get no satisfaction by the Rolling Stones and so you just search that up in YouTube and uh, there will be a video tutorial of Marty um, and many others but Marty is the one that I chose to go for when I just started and you know the next step is learn the pentatonic scale the one that most guitarists go for is the A minor pentatonic scale which is the one that I'm gonna recommend to you as well like all of the blues licks uh, originate from that as well as using the blues scale but you can get into that a bit later. Having knowledge of scales is going to really facilitate the improvising process once you get to that because um, being able to navigate through the fretboard with some scales that you've learned is you know the, the, the best thing to do. pentatonic and then go from there uh, at an early stage it's really gonna help you in the future. The next step and this one isn't really necessary per se but I really do recommend it and it's find a local guitar teacher or a teacher online on zoom for example and what guitar teachers especially experienced ones and ones that are really good is they're going to uh, correct any um, incorrect playing that you have and prevent bad habits from developing in the future, which is really important. You know, they are experienced, they've seen many different guitarists over the years and so they know exactly how to help you, uh, where to guide you through your learning process and that's gonna really help you. And a guitar teacher will, first of all, inspire you because of how great they are playing and also teach you stuff about guitar that you didn't know. But um, it is not necessary. You can do all of this online. There is millions of sources online. Okay, and so the next step is learn more songs. Diverse genres. So, if you learn like 
a few songs of blues and metal and jazz or whatever you're into because this is going to really um, broaden your um, your playing skills, going to make you a more versatile guitarist and you know, the more songs you know, the more um, things you can play at say a jam session or with friends that are musicians or you can just, you know, infiltrate different um, styles and licks into your playing, into your improvising and that's going to, you know, make you sound better. <laughs> Okay, so the next step is uh, learn easy blues licks and as you probably know, uh, blues is where all the uh, guitar um, playing that we know now has come from. It is the inspiration of many of the great guitarists of, uh, of, of that time, of our time, of all time really. And, um, and so, you know, if you go back to the roots, which are the blues, um, and start learning like some easy blues licks that will again um, help you. Learning licks is always good because you know that that's what we guitarists do. We play many licks. <laughs> then that links into the next and final step which is incorporate those licks into your improvisation. So if you learned uh, blues licks in A minor in the key of A minor then you can uh, search up a blues backing track in that key and then you can um, you know play the A minor pentatonic and then start you know uh, thinking of a few little um, licks that you can play and then after that you can also you know incorporate those licks that you've, you've learned and that's going to make your improvisation sound a lot better and more interesting so so yes as far as uh, beginner tips or uh, first things to do when you get your guitar that's it um, I hope that this was useful for you I wish I could have uh, heard this when I was just starting because I was a bit unsure of what to do um, and yeah, and if you enjoyed this, please give it a like and subscribe. That will let me know whether you're interested in this content or not. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, bum.